There's something here. Oh, that's a case gin right there, folks. And it feels like it's whole. It's a small one. Good day, folks. Beautiful afternoon here. Check out those that blue sky and the blue water there. Just beautiful. Anyways, it's been about six days since the last time I was down into this hole. There's another hole right down here that I was digging in uh, last fall, but not quite old enough. There is some pretty good stuff in there, though. But anyways, I'm going to head over that way further. Just thought I'd get you up as a quick intro. There's a big old granite block there. That would make a nice step. Big. I'm not going to be carting that out of here by myself, though. Granite's about 200 pounds per cubic foot. So, <laughs> I'll take a bigger man than me to let that out. <laughs> Get you up, uh, I'm in the hole. I'm well, not quite down into the hole yet, folks, but I'm still I'm just kind of poking around, looking around on the surface. And check this little piece here out. See that right there? It's off the base of a plate or something. Get focus there. That's pretty neat. I'm like a schooner ship on there. And I see there's a little plastic chair over in there, too. Alright, let's get down in the hole. Okay, well, I'm in the hole. From here, I'm nearly invisible from the water, which is a good thing. But anyways, I'm just up in there raking all this stuff back down. And uh, I see a cork top just rolled down. And it's right here. And it does appear to be embossed. And my guess is, yeah, just as I suspected, it's a Dr. Cruz elixir. And I pulled several of these out of this particular hole uh, in the past few digs. And this one looks to be just as good as the others. So that's one keeper for the day. having a look inside the hole here. You see the base of something right up here. Looks like a prime that and a bottle if I had to guess. There's roots right in the way. Where is it at? Right here. Cognac and a flask maybe? See if I can reach up in there and grab it real quick, like. <sighs> yep, that's it. But it's a uh, screw top, so not really one worth keeping. All right, let's get back at it. All right, so you got you set up here. I see at least two bottles here. One here. The one here, now this one looks like one of those Mighty Oak Seagram bottles. This one here I'm not too sure about. Sounds like it's broke. No, it isn't broke. Oh, yes it is broke. Let's check this one here, see if we can get that out. That's one of those Mighty Oak bottles, that's going to be awesome. They're a beautiful bottle. A little, a little wiggle. It is a. It's even got the lid still on it. Check it out. Okay, let me get you out of here before this comes in on us or something. <laughs> okay. Cool beans. Yeah. 
There it is, yeah. It's going to be hard to see, but uh, they're beautiful when they're all cleaned up. Lots of embossing on them. Big oak leaves and uh, script writing and stuff on it. All right. Let me get my glove on there. So here's that uh, cork top, broken cork top piece I pulled out with those two liquor bottles. And as you can see, it turned out to be a beautiful cobalt blue color. Got a bit of iridescence to it. Get focused on it here. There we go. Blown in a mold with a tooled lip. Would have been a beauty. Well, speaking of cobalt blues, I got a cobalt blue right in here. Nothing too uh, impressive, but it's a bourgeois. Evening in Paris perfume bottle. Nice shape, those ones. So that's a keeper. Oh, a couple bucks. Okay, well, we've been here about an hour so far, folks. Got a few bottles so far, but nothing real interesting. Here's something here. Okay, it's a screw top. And there's something here. It's a little more interesting. It's an early screw top. Might turn out to be manganese glass. Here's something here. Oh, that's a case gin right there, folks. And it feels like it's whole. It's a small one. Right on. Right on. Let's uh, I'll grab this one here, too. Okay, here we are. There's that one, might turn out to be manganese glass. Looks like it is. Here's this little case of gin. Oh, it's embossed. It's embossed. It's a DeKuyper gin. Sweet. Oh, it's not a cork top though, it's a screw top. Still though, beauty. Oh, let's get the sun there. The sun's going down behind these trees. Be able to get a look at it there. All right, let's dig around a little bit more. Return of the deep dark hole, folks. So of course, right after that gin, this here little cork top come out. It was right in behind it. And it looks like it's got a cork still in it. I don't know if that was an alcohol bottle, like a little half pint, or if it's like a perfume or what. I found these before. Okay, well there is something white inside of it, I can see. Maybe it's like a powder. I don't know. Keeper, anyways. I see a mason jar lid right here too. Uh, just a standard one. No, just clear. No embossing on it. All right. I get into a little pocket of glass. Okay, YouTubers. As I suspected, I thought I might be getting into a pocket of glass. Now, this one here just fell out. There's a. I got a hole going out from there down in below this ice and it comes out on the bottom. And this one here just fell through. There's a cork top. But uh, there's no embossing. And it looks like it may be machine made. Base embossed perhaps. I'll keep it just the same. And then right up in here, I got. It looks like an AS Heinz. There's a little something right there, too. Oh, it's all melted. There's an A.S. Heinz. Honey and almond cream, a big one. Probably from the 30s. And here's a big cork top. Amber. Oh. Okay, that's still in there pretty good. 
I thought it was ready to come out, but it's not. I'll get you back up once I get it out. Okay, I think it's nearly ready to come out. I see there's another little bottle right here too. Another picker here. Oh, that one was broke. Edge embossed. Can't tell what it is. <clears throat> Got it. Uh, unfortunately, it just looks like a slicker. I do. Well, no, I think it's machine made too. All that for nothing. <laughs> It is a nice bottle though, just the same. Alright, I'll keep pecking away. Well, I think that's going to be it for digging in a deep, dark hole here today, folks. I'm going to take a walk down around the old tailing pile here and uh, see if see any marbles or anything might have washed out over the winter time. And if I do find anything, I'll get you back up on. Otherwise, stay tuned for the uh, cleanup slash recap portion of the video which will be coming up next over and out folks good day folks thanks for joining me here how's everybody doing today hope you're all doing well so uh, i've been out exploring all day today and uh i really didn't have time tonight to prepare much here for the recap but i do have these here lovely goggles that Take note of those because you're going to be seeing those in an upcoming vid. Probably the next upload after this one. And you're not going to want to miss that. <laughs> as far as drinks tonight, I'm hard on the water tonight, folks. <laughs> I'll tell you, it tastes mighty good, too. Okay, so first up is going to be this Dr. True's Elixir. And I've dug several of these out of that hole down there in the past few digs. Uh, this one is machine made. So I'm sure you're all familiar with those. Uh, if not, if this is your first one, well there you go. They do come in uh, blown style as well. Obviously, uh, it's established 1851. But uh, unfortunately, this is not a blown specimen. It is machine made as well as all of these bottles from this particular dig are machine made so get a look at them because there's some nice machine made bottles here and here's a, a fine example of one right here this Seagram's whiskey bottle check it out all those oak leaves on there lots of embossing on that puppy would have had a paper label here you got uh, leaves and acorns all over there and then down at the heel on this side it says mighty oaks from little acorns grow check it out beauty of a bottle straight out of the 30s i do believe Next up, I'm going to skip right over to this one right here, just because. And this is an A.S. Heinz bottle, honey and almond cream. And this is the first time I've dug one from Toronto, it says here. And I'd like to know if any of them, uh, my viewers from Ontario have dug these that say Toronto on them. The other ones that I've dug say Portland, Maine and Bloomfield. I believe. So I didn't even know this one from Toronto existed. And not only did I dig this big size one, but I also got a smaller size one as well, and it also is from Toronto. So I got two Toronto bottles out of that one. Very nice. Happy to get those. I'm getting a pretty good collection of those now. <laughs> Nice. 
So this is just uh, an amber chemical bottle. It is a cork top though, which is nice. And then we got the De Kuiper Gin. Check it out, beauty of a little bottle. And it's got the original lid on it, which happens to have an anchor, which is kind of cool. There it is. Nice one. Beautiful color. All right, where'd we leave off? Okay, this is just uh, your standard uh, Vix bottle. And then you got your Bourgeois Base Embossed Evening in Paris perfume bottle. Cobalt blue. People like those. I always keep the cobalt blue ones and bring them home. And then we got a Waterman's Ink. This one is not shoulder embossed. It is base embossed Waterman's. we got three more bottles coming up here. There's this one here, which is some sort of jar. It is machine made. And it may turn out to be manganese glass. Not sure. I can't tell right now. I don't think it is, but it's awful thick, too. Then there's this one here, which is machine made. And I think this one quite possibly could have a little pinkish hue to it, like a lavender color. And then there's this one here that, yeah, that's machine made as well. I've dug these before. Uh, blown ones as well. No idea what was in them. If anybody knows, uh, shoot a little message down there and uh, enlighten me. So there that is. And I don't think this one's manganese glass either. So anyways, that's going to be it for those folks. Hope you enjoyed the video and the finds and all the rally car crashes <laughs> if you watch the digging portion. Okay, folks, stay tuned for the next video. It'll be coming up in a little bit, too. A couple days. Thanks for watching. Over and out. Have a great day, everybody.